Ami. Yeah. Uh, Upper Hamba, they, they call him. And he reckoned that he got access to, to put it to some sort of bank. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I said to him, boy, it's not that easy, bro. To, it's easy to, to, to say. Yeah. But, man, there's a lot of, uh, you got to go through the proper process. So. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, mate. That's Mount Hikarangi up there, that way. We're just going back to Tiki Tiki. And I just thought I'd take a shot of it. It's not showing very well in the uh, uh, cloud cover. Uh, but um, uh, I just thought I'd take a shot of it. It's just being a landmark here, down to uh, Rangituki. It's been the Maunga there. Um, it's... Um, it's got its spiritual part to this Waipa River. That's the other thing I wanted to um, take, carry on. Uh, Waipa River. And so this is um, where all those hills have fallen in because of the forest that cut all the big trees down. And that's the result of all the silt you see at uh, Rangituk here that I'm going to put a big bill up against of all the damage that was being caused through the Crown. And since the eight and, uh, 1930s and 40s uh, where the, the crown forest put the trees up and that's the result of milling all the natives out of the hills they dropped into the water and at Rangitukia and East Cape there's 75 meters of land missing that's been eroded and there's no funding going into erosion all the money that Ngāti Pro makes with the crown has gone into their coffers they have no plan in place to combat erosion. That's the biggest problem you're seeing right there that's been caused since the British came here that I'm going to tell the British this is what their people did to um, exploit the land and especially the trees. All those trees in England uh, and Britain have come out of here at the expense of the Maori people uh, and the hapu especially, that have not uh, gained any uh, recompense uh, for the damage uh, uh, caused and only settling on the treaty settlement for less than 1% is not acceptable uh, to us anymore. So we're going to terminate and settle the account the way we're going to do it with the um, uh, levy debtors uh, from here at Rangitukia. We're setting up at the meeting today on the 30th of December 2014. Uh, I'm here, John Wanoa uh, from Auckland, our main office with Tamati and Joy uh, Reid, who will be looking after the business here on the uh, East Cape uh, with our uh, other two uh, managers, <coughs> Paul Breen and Desmond Wanoa will be there in the capacity to uh, administer the land titles, the Scottish titles uh, that we are doing uh, in London. So I'll be in, based in, in England, London, uh, running operations from there for here uh, and uh, Tamati will be looking after the land uh, as land landowners, uh, links uh, to the um, uh, projects uh, from land into sea. So this Waipu River, he's on the end of that, uh, Waipu mouth uh, uh, of the riverbed and um, on the Marangaro land blocks. He's on the la Marangaro land blocks between uh, this river and the Marahara river that runs up the back of Whakangangi uh, into the Wai uh, Awatere river down to the Awatere river mouth. Everything on that side is what we're talking about. Uh, the Marangaro side of the Marangaro Marae, they changed the name to Awatere Marae. But that's what we are concerned with everything inside that boundary area to start uh, operations there at Rangitukia. I just make an announcement today uh, at our meeting that the case uh, will be. I'm just admiring these roads are, in the old days have cut a lot of time off um, and that's been a big improvement. Uh, to do anything at Rangitukia will, will require, require roads uh, upgrade. Um, when we start, we'll have the funding uh, put in place, uh, hopefully next month. Uh, we'll be kicking that off and then we'll be back here before we go to England. And there are partners, uh, the British 
uh, government, not the, not the British Crown, the British government is our partner. Okay, so that's all I want to say in this little clip, and I'll let Timothy interrupt him before he was talking about something. So we'll see you soon. Bye at the meeting. Bye.